Got a minute? Let's talk about all of us together. I'm not really sure where to start describing the bad in this movie, so I will instead start with the good. James McAvoy is, once again, outstanding, expanding his roster of Kevin's personality seamlessly. Jackson is also great, and the movie's beautiful to look at thanks to cinematographer Mike Giulakis' incredible lighting and composition. The rest, sadly, is pretty poor. Several characters, including one of the three build stars, are treated as mere plot devices rather than fully formed human beings, which I suppose goes nicely with the many contrivances the script fabricates to get characters where they need to be. It's painfully obvious that there's a potential masterpiece inside glass that writer-director M. Night Shyamalan just doesn't know how to bring to the fore. Some of the ideas he's exploring here would make for a truly fantastic film, but none are carried to a satisfying conclusion, and several are thrown aside completely by an ending, or rather several endings, which Knight is convinced are far more well-earned and clever than they are. Let it be known that I'm one of an admittedly small group of people who consider Unbreakable to be Knight's best film, and Split was a great movie even before it was revealed to be a surprise sequel to Unbreakable, so I had the bar set pretty high for glass. Sadly, it didn't come close to clearing it. 